It is called Operation Giant Slalom. A former Canadian Olympic snowboarder is accused of running a major transnational drug and murdering 16 people in charge of the alleged crimes. And a manhunt is now underway for the Olympian, they say, is at the center of it all. And now News reporter Anna Bominos tells us how officials busted this ring. Flanked by roughly 1,200 kilos of cocaine seized in SoCal and joined by Canadian law enforcement, U.S. federal authorities say this is just a fraction of what one transnational organization distributed across North America every year. They moved on average 60 tons of cocaine per year. The months-long international investigation resulted in the arrest of 12 individuals in the U.S., Canada, Mexico and Colombia. Four are still wanted, including a Canadian former Olympic snowboarder. Authorities say 43-year-old Ryan James Wedding, who'd previously been convicted of conspiracy to distribute cocaine, led the billion-dollar criminal enterprise out of Mexico with protection from the Sinaloa cartel. Wedding's organization would use stash houses in the Los Angeles area. Wedding and his alleged partner, Andrew Clark, also face murder charges. They would use contract killers to assassinate anyone who they, who they saw as an obstacle to their operation. Investigators say in a case of mistaken identity, Wedding and Clark directed the murders of a mother and father visiting Canada from India. They had no known connection to Wedding, Clark or the other people in the operation. But that didn't matter. They were killed in cold blood in front of their daughter, who was also shot 13 times. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $50,000 for information leading to Wedding's arrest and extradition, saying his aliases include El Jefe, Giant, and Public Enemy. If convicted, Wedding and Clark face a mandatory minimum penalty of life in federal prison for the murder and attempted murder charges alone.